Reporting live from Lilith's site on a New Year's celebration. It's live from last week, episode 54. Let's, Let's go! Go Bay! Go Bay! Go Bay! Welcome you my fellow jaywalkers to another episode of live from last week hope last week has served you well just a quick shameless plug before we go on I want you guys to like and share this video and subscribe to the channel so here we are finally arriving back in scarborough just before midnight after an incredibly busy tuesday and i don't know if you guys remember this scene from last week's episode i'm gonna treat the wife to an overnight stay at a local hotel for our first month month anniversary. So yeah, last night, the wife and I celebrated our one month wedding anniversary. And check out the hotel room, which was a suite with this amazing jacuzzi hot tub. I don't know about you guys, but this morning, I just had to wake up and draw my second bath in as many days, relax, and just enjoy the bubble bath. Guys, this one's for me. And this one is for my homies. So yeah, after we checked out of that hotel, and if you guys remember this scene from the summer when I first got my mini, well, since we were already in Barrie, we visited my cousin Jing to get him his Christmas slash New Year's present. Yo, we're here to visit my cousin Jonas up in Barrie. Look at this guy. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year to this guy. Oh man. <laughs> Okay, Jing, do you have any greetings for everybody out there? Yes, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year! <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, since we were in the area, we also checked out the Tandra outlets up near Cookstown. <laughs> Vanilla? You can actually smell it through the mask, through the side. <laughs> So that's what my sister was talking about, how they tell you to smell with your eyes. Yeah. And while we were making our way back down to Toronto, we also decided to check out Fawn Mills. Which, because of the limited capacity that the Ontario government has set, had enormously long lineups just to get into the mall. But yeah, while we were walking around in that mall, we saw the special pastry place that was handing out some free samples. Stuffies. Eat the head. Oh, it's really good. Mm. Maybe I'll we'll buy some for Big Saga. That's a stuffing. Is that one good? Yeah. No, I'd buy them. And we actually gave in and bought a package. Next, in the evening, the wife and I drove all the way back to Mrs. Saga to visit the Saga fam and check out this all you can eat sushi place that actually uses robots as servers.
Man, that place at 168 in Saga is a place that I'll never forget and will always remember for the robotic service. To continue on with the theme of sushi, we actually had a post-dinner games night back at the Saga fam's place and played this fun board game called Sushi Go. But anyways guys, before I wrap it up for the night, we just have a couple of birthday greetings for you guys today. And this one goes out to a pair of twins, Anna and Ariel. Happy birthday, Din and Don. Man, all I can say is I've been treasuring our friendships over the past nine years now. All the way back when we celebrate your guys' birthdays at V Supper Club, down at Liberty Village back in the day. Anyways, Don Don and Din Din, hope you guys are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and I'm hoping that you guys had an amazing birthday this year. So guys, with the incredibly busy schedule that I've had for the past couple of days, to be honest, today I'm feeling pretty exhausted. But the cool thing about earlier today is that the wife and I went to Scarborough and we were able to visit my niece and nephew. And when I say visit, I actually mean help babysit. And when I say we, as in me and the wife, it was mainly the wife being the babysitter. Who's that? Uh, Ky Kyrie. 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 <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, my cousin was able to show me their brand new dining table set, which I obviously made myself at home. and used it as a video editing station while the wife helped took care of my niece and nephew. We were also able to give my niece and nephew their Christmas presents for this year. Kyrie. Where's Kyrie? Here you go. You're welcome. Seven. Here, let's put it on. You don't want clothes? Your hat? Hat, okay. <laughs> Nina, are you excited about your envelope? You are excited about your envelope. Count the dogs. One. I'm just hoping that Kyrie and Lena like their gifts for Christmas this year. But one thing I do know is that tonight I'm going in for my first of my four night shifts. And I'm hoping to take a quick little nap and power charge my batteries before I go into work tonight. So guys, after a very busy night shift last night, with confused patience, IVs not flushing through, patients needing IVs, having them inserted, then taking them out, falls risk patients getting up out of bed by themselves, a ton of sick calls from the previous shifts, patients just not sleeping throughout the night, all patients being under isolation precautions, and patients shouting at staff. I just felt like I didn't want to be at work and wanted to come home to the comfort of my bed at the condo. But there was one great surprise that I had that brightened up my day when I got home this morning. One of our friends, Giselle, surprised us and actually stayed over last night to hang out with the wife to keep her company while I was at work. And yeah, this was such a nice surprise to have, especially with a really bad and crappy day that I had last night. And it was only the first night shift in a set of four shifts in a row. But yeah, G, it is always great to have you around and it sucks that you're leaving us at the end of your holidays, but just know that you're always welcome to come visit us here at the condo. This is it. This is it, G. But thank you, good to see you. How was your first um, <laughs> ride in the mini? It was great. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for the ride, it was fun. Safe trip, safe flight, G. Thank you, see you, next year. Year. See, you. <laughs> see you next year. Hopefully, see you next year. Bye. <laughs> But yeah, let's keep up some good vibes by giving you some birthday greetings that we have today. First, I have a birthday greeting to one of my old Wysik friends, Jeremy. Happy birthday, Jeremy. I'm remembering the events that we would run back when we were CAs at Wysik, as well as doing those funny improv classes. Anyways, bro, hope you're doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time. Congrats again on your wedding earlier this year, and I'm hoping that you had an amazing birthday. Next birthday greeting that we have is for one of our Filipino friends, Carla. Happy birthday, Carla. It's been a while since we all hung out together and I'm hoping that when the Blue Jays start playing again and when the pandemic is over, that we would go to a couple of games. But anyways, hope you're doing well, staying safe and healthy out there, Carla. And I'm hoping that you had a great birthday. Sincerely yours, Jay, Janelle, and Brett Laurie. But yeah, guys, I'm going in for my second of my four night shifts tonight. And I'll just see you guys again tomorrow. Oh dear, guys, 
Last night's night shift was also crazy. And oh my gosh, it was just the second of my four straight night shifts. Despite being short staffed again with half the staff calling in sick for sick calls, with some staff who worked the days still staying until 10 p.m. last night, and having things like a protected code blue as well as a code omega, receiving several admissions from PACU, having an IV going interstitial at the beginning of my shift, my falls risk patient getting up spontaneously out of bed throughout the night, and of course, all the isolation slash precautions that we have to take for all our patients. It was just, yeah, another busy night. So to cope, earlier this morning, I drove to No Frills to go on a short little shopping spree and to keep my mind off of work. And yeah, even though it's New Year's Eve, and I usually do something big to help celebrate New Year's with the staff, and although I took away my special New Year's Day hat 364 days a year in my locker, this year, I'm afraid with all the precautions and such, this year's celebration will be a little bit more subdued. But yeah, before I go in for my third of my four night shifts tonight, I look back at my 2021 New Year's resolutions, successfully completing five of them, and made a new resolution list for 2022. So I'm hoping that this video will keep me honest and on track to hit my 2022 New Year's resolution goals. And we'll just check back again this time next year to see how well we did. So moving on before I get changed into my New Year's Eve scrubs and go to work, we just have a couple of New Year's Eve birthday greetings for you guys today. Starting with Alex. Happy birthday, Alex. I'm remembering almost 10 years ago partying with you and Paolo back when I was visiting Chicago in the spring of 2011. As well, I'm excited to see that video that you posted of your trip to India and take inspirations at how well that video was edited. Anyways, Alex, hope you're doing well, staying safe and healthy, and I'm hoping that you had a great birthday this year. Next birthday greeting goes out to one of my friends back when I was in university, Abigail. Happy birthday, Abigail. This girl has been my asthma buddy for life, joking about how we would take our puffers in order to breathe every so often, and how asthma is what connects us. Anyways, Abigail, hope you're doing well, staying healthy too, and I'm hoping that you also had a great birthday. Last but not least, I have a birthday greeting to one of my FCAR friends, Aaron. Happy birthday, Ramos. I'm remembering all our hangouts at Ryerson, back when you and Angie were part of FCAR, as well as the volleyball sessions that we would have at Kerr Hall. Anyways, Aaron, hope you and the family are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time. Say hi to Angie for me, and I'm hoping that you had an amazing birthday this year. Just want to wish everybody out there a happy new year, guys. Saying goodbye to 2021 and hello to 2022. With that being said, my last shift of 2021 started off crazy stressful. Where, when I got on shift and was taking report, I heard a bed alarm of my falls risk patient go off on the other side of the unit. And as soon as I got there, I saw my patient sit up at the side of the bed with blood all over the bed rails because they got up spontaneously and accidentally pulled out their IV line. And that was just the beginning of my shift. But anyways, once things started to settle down, frantically trying to find my other coworkers and a clock after I was taking care of my patient near midnight, although we missed the actual countdown, I found some of my colleagues and we were able to do our own makeshift countdown together for New Year's. Happy New Year! 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, Happy New Year! Okay, go. Oh, uh, did we already say Happy New Year? Yeah. yeah. Happy New Year. Five, four, three, two, one. Happy New Year. <laughs> Yay. Okay. Five, four, three, two, one. Yay. 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 <laughs> you go. Wait, okay, hold on. Oh, one more time. Yeah. Oh. There you go. <laughs> okay. Five, four, Five, four three, three, two, one. one. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> happy New Year! Thank you! Happy New Year! Sorry, now we gotta clean you up. Ready? Five, four, three, two, one. Oh, okay. oh. <laughs> happy New Year! I feel like I'm in Times Square. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's off to the locker for another 364 days for my New Year's hat. 
And I'm hoping that we'll do the exact same thing 12 months from now. And yeah, check this out. Here's a photo of me on New Year's in 2020. And here's a reenactment of that photo for New Year's 2022. Check out the similarities. Moving on, after I got off night shift this morning, I drove straight to Saga to pick up the wife, then bring her back to Scarborough so I can spend a little bit of time with her in between night shifts. And to be honest, I'm kind of feeling pretty glad. Because tonight will be my last, my fourth of my four night shifts. Where I can see the light at the end of the tunnel and look forward to my off days. So in honor of this, I'm going to do my usual thing and sing one more night. So yeah, here's to hoping I have a good night shift tonight. And I'll just catch up with you guys again tomorrow. So I've got a quick story for you guys. Imagine going in for your last shift, your fourth in as many nights walking up to the unit for the day staff to only let you know that you're not working there tonight. And because the other units are short staffed, you're being redeployed to a medicine unit. A unit that I've never ever worked on in my life. So you guys can only imagine how nervous I was going into work on another level and not knowing what to expect. But luckily I was working with an amazing team of nurses last night. So even though it was busy, on my first shift of 2022, I still managed to have a decent and positive experience on working on a medicine floor with a great team. So yeah, when I got off of work this morning, so happy making my way home after a very busy and stressful four night shifts, I took the scenic route going back to the condo, really enjoying the drive and the snowy weather that we are having this morning, dancing in the mini and celebrating the fact that I am not back to work for another two nights. And to celebrate this evening, the wife and I opened up a new shrimp ring that we could enjoy till our hearts were content. But after eating about three-fifths of the ring, I'm thinking that I've had enough of my share of shrimps for the evening. But before we wrap it up for the night, I just have a quick birthday greeting for my Ninong Drake. Happy birthday, Ninong Drake. Can't wait to visit you and Tita Ping at the house, hopefully when this pandemic is over. But anyways, happy birthday once again, Ninong Drake. Hope you're doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time. And I'm hoping that you had a great birthday celebration this year. I also have a quick birthday greeting to my nephew, Blueberry. Happy birthday, Jared. I'm remembering the time taking you on the rides at that dinosaur park, as well as being grateful for you singing that song for us for the holidays from last week. Anyways, Blueberry, hope you're doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time. Say hi to Atisha and Kuya John for me, and I'm hoping that you had a great birthday this year. So earlier this afternoon, I decided to do my monthly visit to Lola with my cousin Faye and her husband, Eduave. Hi, Lola. Faye, can you wait for me? My hands are tied. Hi, Lola. Hi, Lola. Mm. And dogs. Dogs and rabbits visiting Maybe Lola. Maybe we have a dog. Maybe a wolf. Ooh. We utilized our car snow brush slash ice scraper that they bought recently from Amazon. And we decided to pop some bubbly with Lola at her site as a New Year's celebration. Lola. This one is for you. Happy New Year, Lola. Happy New Year. Three, two, one. Happy New Year. Lala, help me! <laughs> Three, two, one! Happy oh, New Year! Lala, 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 Lala! Lala. Lala. Ooh. Thank you. Cheers, Cheers, Lala! Cheers, Lala! Happy, Happy New Year! Year. <laughs> Cheers, Lala! Happy New Year! Pure, Pure heaven, heaven out, out of, of this, this world. world. Woohoo! <laughs> <sighs> and do you guys remember this performance from me and my wife's wedding in November? Well, after that, the couple gave me and the wife a Christmas slash wedding presents that they've been meaning to give to us earlier. Oh! 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 Oh!
<laughs> oh, who's this? <laughs> I'm on fire! I'm on fire! <laughs> I'm on fire! So yeah, thanks again, Faye and Edouave, for hanging out with me, as well as gifting to us that sentimental present that we received earlier today. But yeah, before we wrap it up for the week, I just have a couple of birthday greetings for you guys today. First, with a birthday shout out to somebody that I've played tennis with in the past, Marvin. Happy birthday, Marvin. Next, to a person that I've worked with as a CA back downtown at Wysik, Matthew. Happy birthday, Matthew. Also, a person that I went to dance school with when I was younger, Carly. Happy birthday, Carly. And last but not least, a birthday greeting to one of my family friends, Ia. Happy birthday, Ia. Anyways, guys, it's been a long time since I last reconnected with you. Hope you're all staying safe and healthy at this time, and I'm hoping that you guys celebrated your birthday well this year. Now that pretty much wraps up this very busy and intense episode. So if you guys have enjoyed what you've been watching, feel free to follow Jay Walker POV on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. Be sure to like and share this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notifications bell to be notified when new videos from Jay Walker POV come out. And once again, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Stay safe and healthy out there, and we'll see you next time on Live From Last Week. <laughs>